Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we're going to basically do some simple command line stuff just so you can get used to the iOS and the Cisco interface. So a lot of you guys, when you're just starting off learning your certification stuff, uh, the iOS, the command line can be a little intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. So if you've used command line operating systems like, uh, let's say, Unix or Linux before, then this will actually become pretty easy for you. It's a lot of the same stuff, a lot of the same commands, command structure, and um, keyboard shortcuts will work. So here we've got a router fired up in GNS3. You could also be on a regular router at all. It all works the same. And so here we're just at the normal user prompt here. You could see that with the caret symbol down here, right? A little greater than sign right there. And if we wanted to know what commands we would be able to type at this menu, all you have to do is hit the question mark. Okay, and we've got quite a few commands there. Okay, if we wanted to get into enable mode, which is sort of the administrator mode, we hit enable or type in enable, and you could see we now have a hash mark sign there. That means we're in the correct mode. If we wanted to back out, we could hit type in exit, and we're backed out to the basically the beginning screen of the router. Right? return to get started. So we usually don't need to type in the whole command. I mean, it's simple enough to type enable, but let's say you type slow or you want to save a couple keystrokes, you can usually type in the first couple letters of the command. So let's say EN, and you should be able to hit enter right here, and it works, right? It's back out again. So let's say you definitely know that enable starts with EN, but you weren't sure if this will actually work, because a lot of commands can begin with the same letters. So let's just hit the question mark to see what we could uh, we could do here. Okay, so you can see under the C's we've got call, clear, connect, crypto, right? So if I just type in a C and I hit enter, the iOS is going to scream at me. The command line is going to say, well, I, I don't know exactly what you meant, because there's a whole bunch of commands that start with C. So we could hit tab, and you know, tab's not going to work. So here we could actually hit question mark, and it will tell me the four commands that start with C. So let's say you actually wanted to do uh, call. So here it's, you could do CA, hit tab, and it's going to complete the command for you. Right? And you could do another question mark here, because usually commands are a bunch of words uh, in a row. So call, leg, and then you know, let's type in leg, another question mark, dump. So we're basically going down the, the train of commands here until we get to something that ends in CR, which is the carriage return. And that means I can hit enter and complete this command. Okay. So let's say if I wanted to get back to the be beginning of this line, I could use the arrow keys on my keyboard. That's one way to do it. Kind of a slow way if you have a long line of commands. But you could also use the Control A shortcut. Let's try it. Control A. That gets you back to the beginning of the line. Don't know why it's A, but you know, it still works. So let's see if we can get to the end of the line. Of course, you could use the right arrow key. That's one way of doing it. But you could do, you could also do Control E. And that gets to the end of the line. Control B, as I just did gets you to the beginning, but it also erases the whole thing. So it's basically uh, you backspaced all the way there. So you know, if I type in a bunch of stuff there, it's the same thing as if I did backspace all the way. Right? But sometimes it's, it's just a pain in the butt to do that. Control B, boom, it's all gone. All right. Okay, let's go back into the enabled mode. So if you actually want to change anything inside the router, you're going to be in the conf T mode, you know, the config mode. It's short for config terminal, and we'll exit out of there. So if I type in CONF, do a question mark, you can see it's short for configure. I hit tab, it completes it. Do another qu question mark, configure terminal, right? But as long as you type in the first, you know, couple of letters of the command, and there's no other commands that start with those letters, then the command line will take it. Okay, so that's pretty easy. You could also copy and paste commands into the terminal window, and 
the functionality of this is going to depend on what terminal program you are using. Here we're using PuTTY, as you most people should be using, and you can figure that out by right-clicking on the window bar here in About PuTTY. Also, if you're using GNS3, PuTTY is on by default. Right? So here we're going to open up Notepad, and let's say we wanted to start EIGRP. Well, I could go into Notepad, copy that, go into my router. I'm going to have to be in conf key mode. Right? Then with PuTTY, it's really easy to paste stuff in. You just right-click on your mouse, and bam, it's in there. Right? And there we go. Let's say I wanted to copy from the terminal window and paste out. Well, then it's pretty easy. I could just select a bunch of text, hold down my left mouse button. Here you don't need to do a control C or anything. You just select, let go, go into your notepad there, control V, and boom, it's in there. Right? It's one way of doing it. If you want to show the history of commands, you could do show history. And those are the last couple commands that you typed in into the command line. Right? So this was a quick and dirty video of working with the command line, a couple keyboard shortcuts, and a couple of other commands inside of a Cisco router. Thanks for watching.